Hey guys, welcome to the first video of my series called Inside Python. This series is all about understanding how Python works behind the scenes. And in the first part, we are going to see what are the PYC or the compiled Python files. So let's get started. So first of all, let's take a brief overview of how Python works, right? So Python is actually a combination or a package of interpreter and the support library. So whenever you install Python, you get these two things um, packed, right? So you have interpreter and the support library. Interpreter is used for running your Python code, as you know, and support library contains all those definitions about all those built-in functions, modules, and all those data types, etc. Okay, so. Um, as a programmer, what we have learned is that interpreter is nothing but a software which takes your source code, reads it line by line and executes it line by line to produce the output, right? And that definition is like a black box. We are considering the interpreter like a black box and in, or in, and in order to understand what is actually happening behind the scenes, we need to go deeper. So inside the interpreter um, what happens is something like this you have um, a compiler and a virtual machine I hope you are not surprised by seeing a compiler inside the interpreter as you have heard that um, Python is not a compiled language right um, actually the thing is that um, a compiled language is the one in which the compiler converts the source code to something called machine code or the binary code which is directly executed by the machine itself but in the case of python the compiler is a bit different here we are using compiler to convert the source code to something called a byte code so what is byte code you must be hearing for it for the first time so byte code is a lower level platform independent efficient intermediate representation of your source code so it is nothing but a representation of your source code which is easily readable by the machine so source code is easily readable by you but the byte code is easily readable by something called a virtual machine so in interpreter we have a compiler and a virtual machine and a virtual machine is used to read the byte code read the bytecode line by line and execute every line and produce the output and in that process virtual machine uses all your library modules okay so this is how um, the interpreter is working fine and now um, let's come to the main question of this video what are pyc files so pyc files are nothing but the bytecode representation of your python scripts that's it PYC files are the bytecode representation of your Python scripts. And if you have a, uh, and, and if you have ever seen the PYC files um, in your in your any kind of folder, in any kind of your Python project folder, then uh, you must be wondering that how that PYC file got created, right? So let's see an example to understand how Python is um, able to generate PYC files automatically. Okay, so let's take an example. Um, I have a script called myAd.py in which I have a function called add which is very simple right and now here I have another script called test.py in which I'm gonna import the add function so from my add import add okay and now print add 2 comma 3 that's it so I have written this particular piece of code and now I'm gonna run it I got five that's fine so nothing special in that but let's try to see our project folder look at that in our project folder a new folder subfolder got created whose name is pycache so let's see what it contains okay so it contains a pyc file a dot pyc file whose name is myad.cpython-36.pyc so here myad is the name of the um, python script whose uh, PYC file has been created cpython is the name of the interpreter which has been used to create that PYC file and 3.6 is actually 3.6 the version of the um, Python interpreter I'm using okay so this is how a PYC file looks like when it is automatically generated by the Python interpreter and now let's understand why it got created automatically 
okay so actually it is the property you can say or the default working which says that if you try to import a python script into another script then what happens is that you create or you save a compiled version or a pyc file of the imported script why do we do that we do that because we want to save the compilation time next time when we try to import it that script again because when i run this my uh, this add function or this test or py script again then in that case the compilation of this script didn't happen actually the uh, actually the python interpreter used the pyc file which was already created for my add right so in this way we are trying to save the compilation time and it is a pretty efficient technique right so this is how python uses pyc files and i hope the concept of pyc files is pretty clear now and we'll be seeing a few more things about pyc files in the upcoming videos and if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below um that's it from this video thanks for watching